Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryder Matsuro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. Just to let you guys know that all the mods that you see in this video is inside my description below, so go and check it out. And just to let you guys know too, to disable your antivirus. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. And welcome back guys. So guys, as you guys can see, we're doing something different here. And we are in the game already. And as you guys can see, okay, I got absolutely no mods in here, okay? There's absolutely nothing in here. And I am playing with no mods, okay? So which means this is a clean folder. Now, as you guys can see by the title that this video is all about how to install graphic mods into your GTA V to turn your gameplay into GTA V real life mod so and now as you guys can see by the map it is half done and as you guys can see by the sky and all of the uh, like like see the whole the whole world okay guys there's like there's nothing okay I mean like you know it just looks plain old GTA so we are going to turn this whole thing into just like real life, okay? Well, a bit like real life, so yeah. So guys, that is what is this video is all about. is about how to install your graphics mods, GTA, real life mod, in your GTA folder. And now we are here, guys. This mod is represented by GTA V Redux. GTA V Redux just been updated okay and even the other mod that i'm going to show you guys soon so guys the first thing we are going to do is load up all of these scripts into our gta v folder so right click on your grand theft auto v game open file location as you guys can see that this is a clean folder so there's absolutely no mods in here so since it is a clean folder, we're going to go and open up our OpenIV first. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This may take a, take a few seconds. Yeah, now guys, after that, go to your tools, go to ASI Manager, and make sure you install everything. ASI Loader, OpenIV.ASI, and select yes and open camera once you guys finish that push closed and then just minimize that for now now guys make sure you guys install and download all the requirements that is inside my description so open up your requirements guys then now the first we are going to install is script hog v so select script hog v extract folder drag it towards the side I put up your bin folder, select input 8.dll, scotthogv.dll, and then drag it into your GTA V main directory. If this pops up, just push replace. Then quit out of that. Open up your scotthogv.net extract file, and then wait for a few seconds, drag it towards the side. And then select scripthogv.net.asi.dll and .xml and drag those three files into your GTA V main directory. And then close that to extract folder. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is open up your trainer V extract folder. Exit out of that, drag it towards the side and select trainer V.asi and trainer v.ini and then drag them both into your gta v main directory guys warning make sure you have the latest version of all your mods too trainer v just recently been updated so make sure it is the latest version exit out of that select menu 
extract folder, exit out of that, drag it towards the side, select menu stuff folder and menu.asi and drag it into your GTA V main directory. Then now guys, this is optional, okay, you don't have to do it, but I would do it because I always do this to all my mods. Open up your map reveal and open interiors folder and then copy the whole thing into your GTAV main directory. You guys don't have to install this if you want to, okay, because it is optional. Now guys, once you guys finish that, right click, then now refresh your folder, then right click, then now new folder, new folder, and then now name that folder scripts. Once you guys finish, push enter again. Then make sure you select that little, then make sure you guys download the latest version of native UI. Wait for a few seconds. Drag it towards the side. Now select native UI.dll and then drag it into your scripts folder. And then that's it. Go back to your GTAV main directory. Right click refresh again guys. And then now we are going to stop right there. Now guys. All you guys got to do next is. Minimize your GTAV folder. Right click and now refresh. Now go back to your open IV. And now guys. Open up your GTA Redux extract folder and then now it will come up as the, uh, these three files okay now the first thing you got to do guys is select gta5 redux 1.6.oiv and drag it into your desktop i already done that so i don't need to do it it's right over here guys so once you guys finish dragging this file onto your desktop all you got to do now is just minimize it because you will need to come back in here after. Minimize it guys and now open up your open IV. Go to your tools. Go to package installer. Now guys, this is the part where it takes a long time, okay? So guys, all you got to do next is select GTA 5 Redux 1.6. Push open and then now... All you guys got to do next is install it into your mod folder. So guys, just to let you guys know that this will take about 20 minutes or 30 minutes. It depends on your PC performance. So I'm going to click mods right now, guys. And now all you guys got to do is confirm installation. Now, guys, I'm going to stop the video, okay? Because um, it will take a long time to actually install okay uh about 20 minutes so i'm gonna stop the video guys and i will see you guys once the mod is actually finished so i'll see you guys soon and we're back again guys so as you guys can see that the installation is succeeded and we are finished now guys remember do not run the game just yet push close and then now we are basically done so all you guys got to do now is go into your mods folder and as you guys can see all this has been installed. All this has been installed into your game. So go back to GTA V and now you're basically basically finished guys. So all you guys got to do now is quit open IV. Then now right click on your Grand Theft Auto V game, open file location. And now guys, once you open up your folder you guys can see that there's a lot of things in here and there's a few things that is, has been added so right click refresh and now open up your gta5 redux extract folder and then now guys in your gta5 extract folder is your gta5 redux reshade now before you do anything in this folder guys inside my description is a redux okay now uh download reshade me which is over here guys okay i will leave this inside my description 
download this folder okay I already downloaded it okay so I don't need to actually download it now once you guys download reshade me it will come up as this folder right here this is reshade me guys and now what you guys gotta do now next is click on reshade me double click and then now it will come up as this click in the middle of this okay select the game to install and then now it will come up as your game over here then now once you guys come into this folder all you guys gotta do now is click gta 5exe open and then now all you guys gotta do next is select direct 3d 10 plus select yes and then wait for a few seconds it's downloading all of the data now make sure everything is ticked okay make sure everything is ticked and push ok and now the and now it is succeeded so guys all you guys got to do now is push x and go back into your dtav folder and as you guys can see the reshade is right there now so the next thing we think we are going to do now guys is go to your gta 5 redux extract folder and go to reshade folder in it now all we gotta do guys is copy the whole thing except for the readme text and drag the whole thing into your gta v main directory now guys all you gotta do now is quit out of here you don't need it need it anymore right click on your gta v folder refresh it and then that's all now so guys we're gonna quit out of here okay and right click on your desktop okay and then now we are gonna go in the game and welcome back guys as you guys can see we are in the game right now and the graphics look so freaking awesome and we are going to go and see what does it look like when you install all the mods that you guys followed with me so this is what it looks like guys but before i do i better turn the audio down because it's too loud this is the game guys and when we were in here guys okay before it was like cloudy and foggy and all that as you guys can see by the rain it looks like realistic so let's just change the weather Brenty. let's change the weather to um rain look at that guys thunder so yeah it is pretty pretty cool guys clear it and then now guys that is clear sunny let's try it to sunny nah clear sunny so that is pretty awesome guys time and then now i'm just gonna leave at midday now guys this is what the mod looks like okay and realistic uh this is the realistic mod so guys before we do get in the game okay all you guys gotta do next is press home on your keyboard once you press home okay go to go to continue now up here guys there is a few options you can you can pick okay you can pick like dark realistic so or deep and rich so you guys there's different colors you can actually pick okay uh but you yeah, guys i'm going to leave it uh vivid is my best one that i that i like but it's too too bright okay so i'm gonna go and leave it on realistic dark and then push continue if you guys like what you see all you guys gotta do is push continue then push continue again and push finish and lastly push reload and then now that's it and then push escape and then now it is reloading your graphics and now this is what the graphics look like guys and gtav real life mods so guys all you got to do next now is we are going to go and test the guns so guys before you heard the guns it sounded like you know crappy so this is what the gun sounds like right now oh wait hang on guys we need to turn it up eh? audio So, 
and that's all we have for you guys for now so guys if you guys need any help okay or assistance or if you guys need any advice with this mod then let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out and guys just to let you know that it did work you guys saw it okay and i did start with a clean fresh folder so guys with that i said thanks for watching if you guys do like this video smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching peace and i'm out